Welcome to Internet Gaming News. I'm Jim Dunkleton, and I'm joined here by Sony PR representative Ben Burns, and we're going to talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro that's coming out soon. Thanks for having me on. It's good to be here. First of all, I want to get right into it. I want to discuss the look of the PS4 Pro and how you guys discovered the look of a more powerful console. Well, we had had a board meeting, and um, we wanted to do catering to cater to all of the people who were attending. And it just turns out that the catering team specialized in breakfast foods. So we had pancakes. And then just out of nowhere, during the dinner, our lead designer, he halted everything and said, wait a minute. And we all turned and stared. And he's like, I got it. Pancakes. I'm like, that's it. Genius. Seriously? Yeah. I'm, I'm kicking at myself for not thinking of it first. Pancakes. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, the major appeal for the PlayStation 4 Pro is that it's able to play games and video in 4K, so to speak. Lots of tech experts and internet bloggers have already pointed out that the PlayStation 4 Pro isn't really capable of doing true, true 4K, but rather than upscaling the games and video to 4K. And the weirdest thing is, is that it doesn't have a physical 4K Blu-ray player, which Sony has the patent for, but the Xbox One S does. Don't you feel like you guys may be potentially alienating collectors of physical media because of this choice? Well, Jack. Jim. Jerry. Um, we went into this knowing that the modern gamer and consumer is not that concerned with physical media anymore. They don't care about decorating their apartment or house with their physical copies or showing that off, they'd much rather stream their content in 4K. Now when I say 4K, I don't mean like 4K, I mean we had to cut a lot of corners, but between you and I, I mean I don't really think they, they would notice. Uh, this interview is being streamed live in front of 7,000 people, sir. The PS4 Pro is objectively more powerful than the Xbox One S. That may be true, but the one terabyte model is being sold at the same price as a two terabyte Xbox. Not to mention you guys are also pushing the PlayStation VR, which is supposed to be better with the PS4 Pro anyway. And this isn't even assuming that your customers don't already have 4K TVs to get the best of the system. So with that in mind, you guys are expecting your customers to spend at least $900 this holiday season. Do you think that's gonna go well with them? The PS4 Pro is the most powerful console that's ever been made. You already said that. Besides, PC gamers have already pointed out that it's gonna be outdone within a year, especially when Project Scorpio comes out. Uh, not to mention, do you guys have any plans on appealing to the PC crowd? I mean, Microsoft has already done so already saying that if you buy a digital copy of any of their exclusives, you get the digital copy for Windows 10 PCs free. Uh, how do you expect to counter that? Really, our campaign strategy is aimed towards people who don't know what a teraflop is. If you don't mind me asking, do you know what a teraflop is? I believe it's like a light bulb or something. Okay, I'm almost done here. Uh, last question. Uh, there are rumors going about that the games that have already been released, such as Uncharted 4 and The Witcher 3, are going to be updated to 4K, but it's going to be coming at a cost. Can you confirm or deny this? Hmm. That's actually a pretty good idea. Okay. This is kind of a, on a personal note here. With all the information you've given me here today, it seems like Sony is at genuine risk of destroying their relationship with their audience. Lest you forget, Microsoft did it first with the Xbox One. Yeah, but they've been trying to make up for it ever since. They've gone back on their always online policy, they've included backwards compatibility with Xbox 360 games, and they've just provided more options for their customer base. How do you respond to that? Why are you asking so many questions? Because I'm a journalist, a gaming journalist, I have to report the truth. Well, then you leave me no choice. You must be assimilated into the fold.
Embrace the power of the PlayStation. How do you respond to that? All right. We here at Sony prepared to give you a blank check to say that the PS4 Pro is the best thing ever. I'm listening. Hard-hitting satire aside, the PlayStation 4 Pro does seem underwhelming. This is coming from someone who's never been a PC gamer, who's never been a stickler for 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or just frame rates in general or any of that technical nitty-gritty. I guess you can call me a filthy casual because I prefer fun gameplay above all else. I can literally hear the clicks from the unsubscribing right now. Based on my observations and the observations of a whole lot of other gamers, Sony is slipping up, but it's still being praised by the media as king of the consoles, and even though that's technically true in terms of sales figures and admittedly a better lineup of exclusive games, I think Microsoft is getting unnecessarily shat on, seeing as how ever since the Xbox One debuted and they shat the bed with that, they've been trying to win back the allegiance of gamers ever since. And full disclosure here, this should have probably been at the beginning of the video, but whatever. This may come as a slight bit of bias towards Microsoft, because I played the 360 mostly last generation. I have a significant lead in my gamer score, aside from my trophy score. I, I'm, I'm kind of an achievement whore. I must admit, I'm a dirty, dirty boy. Although, since the time of this recording, I have gotten my first two platinum trophies on my PlayStation account. And I have to admit, it feels pretty goddamn rewarding, so I feel like I'm gonna go back and play my PS3 and PS4 a little bit more and do a little bit of trophy hunting. Sad, isn't it? But this rant, this entire fucking video, probably won't matter to a lot of people, especially me, because of one thing. I don't even have a 4K TV. And it's probably gonna be a while before I get one, and you need a 4K TV to get the best out of these upcoming consoles. I'm PM Rants, and in case you were still wondering what a teraflop is, in case you don't know what a teraflop is, it's essentially a unit of speed in computers. The more it has, the faster the computer is. So does that mean that Project Scorpio is SANIC? Thank you all so much for watching, and I need to give an especially big thank you to Sean Campbell, Nicholas Blackman, Will Stonehouse, Casty, Q Player, Austin Daniel Selkowitz, Jackson Smith, Mitch Jackson, Jack Gore, Michael Perry Jr., Ethan Parker, Kodo Sinclair, Bon Lanez, Mario Mariquin, Rodolfo De Lara, Ramona Viking Hansen, Cynical Carlos, and Michael Groot. Keep watching and see you guys next time.